Hi friends, today for our read aloud lesson, we're gonna be reading one last version of The Little Red Hen. Kind of like yesterday, this version is totally different. We have different characters, different setting. The problem is similar, but a little bit different, and the solution is different as well. This version of the story is called Manana Iguana. One thing I really like about this story is it has a few words in it that are in a different language in Spanish. So if you know a little bit of Spanish, you might recognize some of these words. Today for our writing activity, you're going to be picking your favorite version of The Little Red Hen. So enjoy the story today and then think about this week, which one did you like the best and why did you choose that story? Manana Iguana by Anne Whitford Paul illustrated by Ethan Lawn. On Monday, lunes, Iguana twitched her tail happily. Let's celebrate spring with a party on Saturday. Conejo hopped up and down. Yes, let's. A fiesta? On sábado, count me in. Tortuga poked out of his shell. Culebra shook his rattle. Me too. Good, said Iguana. We must start right away. Who will help me write the invitations? Yo no, not I, said Conejo. I write too fast. No one could read my words. Yo no, said Tortuga. I write too slow. I can't hold a pen, said Culebra. Maybe I'll grow arms tonight and can help you tomorrow. We can't wait until manana. Iguana wriggled her tail. I'll write the invitations myself. And she did. On Martes, Iguana asked, who will help me deliver the invitations for our fiesta? Yo no, said Conejo. I move too fast. I'd pass our friends. Yo no, said Tortuga. I move too slow. Culebra said, if I grow arms tonight, I'll help you manana, Iguana. Manana will be too late, Iguana fidgeted with her tail. I'll deliver the invitations myself. And she did. On Miércoles, Iguana asked, who will help me stuff the piñata for our fiesta? Yo no, said Conejo. I stuff too fast. I'd rip and tear. Yo no, said Tortuga. I stuff too slow. Culebra said, manana, Iguana, when I grow arms. Too many excuses, Iguana flounced her tail. I'll stuff the piñata myself. And she did. On jueves, Iguana begged, Please, will someone help me cook the food for our fiesta? Yo no, said Conejo. I cook too fast. I'd make a mess. Yo no, said Tortuga. I cook too slow. Culebra said, if I grow arms, I'll help you. Manana, Iguana. Iguana slapped her tail on the ground. I'll cook the food myself. And she did. On Viernes, Iguana sighed. I don't suppose anyone will help me hang the streamers for our fiesta. Yo no, said Conejo. I hang too fast. I tear the streamers. Yo no, said Tortuga. I hang too slow. Culebra said, I'll help you hang the streamers. Iguana clapped. Hooray! I'll help you, manana Iguana, when I grow my arms. Hmm. I knew it. Iguana smacked her tail on the ground so hard, she puffed up a cloud of dirt. 
I'll decorate myself. And she did. And then it was Sabado. Conejo hopped up and down. We're ready for our fiesta. Tortuga poked out of his shell. Here come our guests. Culebra shook his rattle. Let's greet them. No. Iguana whipped her tail around in angry circles. I wrote the invitations and I delivered them. I stuffed the pinata. I cooked the food. I hung the streamers. Now I and I alone will greet my guests at my fiesta. And she did. Conejo hurried to the side behind the cactus. Tortuga shrunk inside of his shell. Culebra slithered under a rock. They watched for a long time while the guests laughed and ate and broke the pinata. What a fine fiesta, the guests said as they left. Iguana yawned. I'm too tired to clean up. I'll do it, manana. She stretched out and soon slept. Conejo hopped up from behind the cactus. Iguana's really worn out, he said. Tortuga poked out of his shell. She should be. She did everything. Culebra slithered out from under the rock. And we did nothing. They were silent for a long time. Suddenly, Conejo said, I have an idea. He told it to his friends. That's great, said Tortugo. Culebra said, let's start now. And they did. Conejo pulled down the streamers, put away leftovers, and packed up trash. Tortuga scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed one giant platter. And Culebra squiggled and squirmed, sweeping the ground spotless. We didn't need arms for that. They worked until Domingo, and Iguana woke up. She rubbed her eyes and looked around. She looked at Conejo and Tortuga and Culebra. Iguana smiled. Gracias, she said. Thank you. Then she twitched her tail happily. You must be hungry from your hard work. Who will help me eat the leftovers? Yo si, cried Conejo, Tortuga, and Culebra. And they all did. I really like the end of the story. So for today's writing activity, I want you to think about all of the books that we read this week and pick your favorite Little Red Hen story.